week from FA Cup winners to financial collapse. We chart the rise and fall of Portsmouth in the Premier League. Goodison Golden Boy. We meet the young, talented and remarkably mature Jack Robwell. And tribute song. Andy Reid's in harmony with a Sunderland band to remember a departed friend. A story which started on such a high in August 2003, when, starved of top-flight football for 16 years, the Premier League finally arrived at Fratton Park. It's where we belong. It's a, it's a big club on the South Coast, so let's, uh, let's just enjoy the whole ride and make sure we stay there. Poppy now at least avoid a high court winding up order over their estimated 70 million pounds. They face being wound up in the high court. Instead, they'll receive a nine point penalty, virtually guaranteeing relegation. At approximately 10.30 this morning, my partners Michael Kiley, Peter Kubik, and I were appoint, appointed joint administrators of the company and the football club. Accordingly, as from this morning, we are now fully responsible for all executive decisions at the club and we have now formally begun the restructuring process. We are looking to immediately address the significant monthly cash burn of the club by implementing a strict cost rationalisation programme. It is imperative that if this club is going to survive, that it returns to the fundamentals of any other business in the United Kingdom and functions within its means by avoiding to trade at a loss. To our supporters, please, please stay behind the club. I know it's been a very disturbing season for you. I'm sorry that you are where you are, but I promise you we will save your club and take you forward. Well, I never dreamt anything like this was so weird. I mean, it's grateful. I mean, it's, even last year, I don't think we thought about it. The trade sick, um, distorted that's up. It's one of the worst days in Portsmouth history. It's, it's absolutely terrible. Very, very disappointing. That's how it goes. It's the sad end of a journey that had begun with such hope and optimism under former owner Milan Mandarich and then manager Harry Redknapp. The pair saw Pompey promoted into the top flight as champions. At first, they aimed simply to stay up. That they did, but after three years in the bottom half of the table, including a narrow escape from the drop in 2006, spending was stepped up to take Portsmouth to the next level. Enter Alexander Geidemach. Backed by the new owner, Redknapp established Portsmouth as a top half Premier League team and even led the club to FA Cup glory in 2008. So the players and the chairman and Peter and everybody is involved in the support that this club has. Yeah, there's only one way the club will keep going forward with this. There's too many, too many good people, too many good players for this club to be successful. But no business can succeed if, like Portsmouth, it continually lives beyond its means. After Redknapp went, Pompey sold their stars. About £90 million worth of talent left the club as Portsmouth began a belated attempt to balance the books. With significant profit on these player sales, many fans on the South Coast can't understand why the club remains in such a dire financial predicament. Pompey have had four owners this season, and there's a blame game going on. Some fans are angry with the chief executive. Two words, Peter Story. He's known about this coming for at least 18 months. I think there's three, really. I think it's Redner, Story. Uh, Story because he hasn't let on whether he did know anything, I don't know. And Glidermack, because he must have known. The Premier League imposes a nine-point penalty on clubs going into administration. That deduction virtually guarantees Portsmouth's relegation. But even amid the gloom, this beleaguered side recorded only their second away win of the season with a 2-1 victory at Burnley last weekend. What next? Well, the country's tax authorities, owed millions by the club, have challenged Portsmouth's voluntary administration. Peter Storey is set to resign, but claims he always acted in the club's best interests. And whatever happens now, it's hoped Portsmouth can survive and bounce back. Certainly their loyal fans will never desert Pompey. I should still come, whether we go down, I've been down there in the fourth division, I should still come to see. All the time I've got money to spend, and, you know, for my ticket, 
and I'm a, I can get up here, I should come up here. Yeah, no, I'll talk to you till I die. I love the club. <laughs>